You're watching Heartland Football Friday, sponsored by EBOMD. And welcome back to Heartland Football Friday, folks. Some great news I want to pass along. Freshman from Chaffee, Grant Johnson. He was injured in his team's 14-12 win over Charleston. He's out of the hospital, back home with family. Jack Altermatt, the coach, has a hope to have him back on the field. Way to go, young man. We'll look forward to seeing you. Time now to move on to a historic night at Haytai High School. The Indians hosting Portageville, the brand new state-of-the-art turf field. Haytai deserves a good round of ovation for that. That's the way to go. Get that field built. They're on the field right there. That's a Haytai players playing an excellent Portageville team. And Haytai off the kickoff. And watch this one. It is Jeremy Alexander. He picks up good yardage for Haytai right there. Portageville looking to try to rebound. And they first, they got the defense going first. They weren't giving up much. And then they have an amazing offense to go with it. And watch the TD pass. Aaron Dunlap, the big touchdown pass right there. Watch the grab. Here's your score. We'll put it up on the board for you. 62-6 late in the fourth. New Matter County Central at East Prairie. East Prairie getting quite a run coming out over here from Connor Markham. Watch him turn it up. He spins, he goes, and he doesn't want to go down for East Prairie. That's pretty impressive. Meanwhile, more uh, defense, offense, and defense from East Prairie. They were flashing it. Their fan says, oh yeah, this is our Friday night game. And watch him this time. Bo, hold on. New Madrid County Central with the stop. And New Madrid County Central would end up coming back with some big offensive and defensive plays by the end. Uh, and when it was all said and done, Caden Minner and company win it 58 to 32. There he goes. Meanwhile, more action from Southeast Missouri on the way right now, Southern Illinois. Couple of schools separated by 12 miles. We head right out to the home of the Tigers and Williamson County, Heron hosting the West Frankfurt Redbirds. Pick it up at halftime, 12-8. Heron with the ball, starting a nice pitch. Jonathan Harrison to Kyrese Lukens, but it was all defense for a while. Hey, there's a bunch of defense, but Heron would eventually get it going. They get the touchdown right there, 14-12 lead. They got some defense working and a lot of opportunities. And how about this? Watch this, more opportunities for the, the Redbirds trying to go, but we talk about it. Heron also getting some scores as well. It was kind of a back and forth game. Lukens this time finds a touchdown and gets it to happen. But West Frankfurt, here's a play you want to remember. Travion Johnson cannot find anything. Yes, he can. He's going to find a gap and he's gone. Here he goes, a beautiful play for West Frankfurt, but at the end, the final score, we will put it on the board for you, 28 to 18, and that goes to Heron. Speaking of rivals, Southeast Missouri, let's get right out, Dexter at Sightston. We'll check out the action here, the Bearcats and Bulldogs. Aaron Williams, hey, they're trying to get it going, trying to juke, trying to move. They get the interception there. A little bit of faking out, but a great interception by Sykeston. And then they had something going on themselves. Keen Atkins making some moves. This is an impressive run for Sykeston. But I got to tell you something this year. This Dexter Ball Club is something special. They make the tackle and eventually they get a hold of that football. And they know exactly what to do with it. It's RJ Farmer, Jet Grams. My friends, that's a Dexter win. 22 to nothing. What a game. Meanwhile, how about we head over to Kelly Hawks hosting Malden. Fans enjoying it, and Dientes Dobbins, he's with Malden. He takes the, the handoff around the outside, gets it to go. But I'll tell you something, this would turn into, the fans are looking for Reese F. Tink, and it turns into the Reese F. Tink show. He just started running people over, running crazy. Final score, here you go. We'll put it up on the board for you. We actually don't have that final last check. 14 to nothing, Kelly. I believe they were up big late, but I don't have that final. They Meanwhile, Kennedy Donovan turnovers the story early. You got some. We're going to go ahead and uh, put this one up on the board for you as well. Kennedy goes on in dominating fashion. 42 to nothing, folks. We got big news coming up after the break. I've been moving fast. We'll be back with with that. But we have we still have our game changer. Let's go ahead and head right on out right now. We're talking about our game changer this evening. Talking too fast uh, coming up. Windsor at Perryville first, and Perryville looking for the win, and they got it. The big touchdown score right there. Perryville goes on 12 to nothing. I think this is the fastest I ever talked. It's time now for a Heartland Football Friday Game Changer. The Game Changer, sponsored by Cape Girardeau Honda. 
and it's all about that Scott City defense, the green up game, our play of the night. They had some sacks. They looked impressive. Our game changer's big, and that is our Heartland Football Friday game changer. Scott City beats St. Vincent with those sacks.